What's up, guys? Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back with some more Borderlands news and defamation. <laughs> and you know, after taking another copyright strike from 2K on the chin, and we was talking about it live on stream, one of my viewers pointed out that if you actually look in the bottom left-hand corner of this copyright strike, it says that it was manually detected. And to make matters worse, I also got a copyright strike on Twitter as well, which is just weird. <laughs> but they pointed out that since this was manually detected and not just YouTube's garbage auto AI algorithm copyright detector going wonky, that Gearbox and 2K literally have somebody whose job on payroll is to watch content creators on YouTube and make sure that they're not talking shit. <laughs> It's so embarrassing that Gearbox and 2K, multi-million dollar corporations, would rather spend their time manually detecting. Like I said, that means there's someone at 2K's whose whole job is to make sure that there aren't people talking negatively about their products. And instead of actually putting effort into their titles. They'd rather pay somebody to do that job. Like, it's hilarious. We're now three years post Borderlands 3. And here we have a multi-million dollar company that literally has no idea what to do with this franchise. I'd be willing to bet that this dude whose job it is to watch these channels on YouTube are probably also doing so in order to scout these channels for future ideas for the game. Which is even more hilarious that they would scour our content looking for ideas. But, you know, the idea of actually sitting down and working with us as content creators, that's just too big of a pill to swallow from Gearbox and 2K. Like... The thought that they actually need us really chaps their motherfucking ass. It leaves that ass redder than a motherfucker. Like, full-on Rafiki style. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, they're still copyright striking me for showing a timeline from a game whose timeline is over. I'm pretty sure they're a little bit more mad about the proof of them paying YouTubers for their compliance in that video. Literally spelled out in actual slides. Like, they actually took the time to create, like, professional-looking slides that says, We're gonna pay content creators for their fucking opinions. Instead of taking that time and effort and putting it into the fucking game! <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, if 2K and Gearbox would just pull their heads, like, right out of their asses and stop writing games where content creators are the enemy, they can go ahead and join the modern-day developer content creator relationship that, you know, a lot of these other companies are enjoying right now. But, I mean, that's just, it's too much, especially for Randy's ego. I want you to listen to the disgust that you can hear in Randy's voice when he's talking about people reviewing his games. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the game, and I, re I really liked it. I think, one, I think there was a couple things. One, it was probably one of those seven and a half kind of games, seven and a half kind of games, seven and a half kind of games that came out right after we did Borderlands. And so everybody wanted a nine. It had all this expectation. It's one of those expectation management things. So if you, if you want a nine and you expect a nine and you give people a seven, then they give you a five because it's like punitive and the, you know, there's a punitive kind of thing there. So it was like a seven, seven and a half game, which I think was, would have been fine for an Aliens game. But it could have been, it could have been a little tighter. I, I told Midasan, if you want the best game possible, you need to give us as much time as possible after we ship Borderlands 2 before it comes out. And that was in defense 
of alien colonial marines like literally factually one of the worst released games in gaming history imagine just imagine the amount of smug that's in that glass that he's sniffing while reading borderlands 3 or wonderlands reviews on the internet just sitting there like three o'clock in the morning with that fucking scowl on his face he's like these motherfuckers don't like the game why well be because it's just not good <laughs> but seriously like looking at the level of contempt that randy pitchford has shown over the years for content creators going as far as to make content creators the enemy in borderlands 3 and also like game of journals it's no wonder that their priorities are more towards marketing their games and making sure that they're seen favorably in order to sell the game rather than put the time effort and money towards making a game that people actually enjoy and want to talk about and share with their friends instead of spending valuable resources putting someone on payroll to literally spend their time hawkeye and content creators channels abusing youtube's copyright flagging system to silence creators not speaking favorably about the game you know, if you really want to know about that, you can go ahead and ask Matto. Matto will tell you all about that. But that is a different rabbit hole for a whole different video. My name's Jay. Morning and after. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you leave the top up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it. It gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos. But it's funny. It's funny. The harder that 2K tries to make me look bad... The, the more that they're just making themselves look pathetic as a fucking billion dollar company worried about what the fuck I'm doing here sitting inside my room, bro. Like, yo, y'all, y'all need to figure this shit the fuck out because you're fucking up. <laughs> my name's Jay. Morning after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.